So you've got your batteries charged, you've chosen your format, you've chosen your standard, you've chosen your frame rate, you know what you're doing. You're now completely ready to shoot. Now, I have to say, this camera is really good for actually just shooting completely in automatic. Okay, so let's show you a bunch of shots now. Now these were shot in automatic and I'm showing you this because I want you to see the results. But the point is, the camera performs really well in auto. Now there's disadvantages to this. There's a reason why you have manual, but when you don't know what you're doing, a really good way to get to know the camera is just to put everything in automatic, get out and shoot. You'll get a feel for the camera, you'll understand where the buttons are, you'll get used to the viewfinder, you'll get used to the screen, and you can concentrate on the crucial thing about filmmaking, which is framing the shots. And then maybe when you know a little bit more, then you can actually put it into manual and take it from there. So auto is a good place to begin, and the camera will give you good results. But the real disadvantage of automatic is that you can get exposure shifts. Now, this will happen on any camera. This is not unique to a GYHM100, but what happens is if you're pointed at something bright and you pan to something dark, the camera will compensate and try and boost the level. Likewise, you're shooting in the shade, you pan across to the sky, again, the camera will reset. It will automatically adjust. And that sort of thing can actually ruin a shot. So if you're gonna shoot automatic, try not to move between areas of high contrast and low contrast, or vice versa, because basically, nothing looks worse than exposure shifts in a shot. But if you frame your shots in automatic and shoot off a load of stuff, and if you do pan the camera, as long as the differences between the high contrast area and the low contrast areas is not too dramatic, then you can get away with a lot. Now notice, there's not a lot of panning going on which means there's not a lot of exposure changes. That's what automatic is good for. Now, when we talk about automatic, I've been mentioning exposure, but you also got to consider focus. This camera will automatically focus for you if you put the focus into automatic, and it'll do a good job too. Where it will suffer is when it's low light, any camera will. In low light, it makes it more difficult for the camera to pinpoint focus. But as a general way to get up and running, I'm repeating myself now, don't be shy to put the camera in automatic because it'll do a good job for you. To get the ultimate best possible, then you have to jump into manual. But just to get going, automatic is an absolutely fantastic place to begin and it will give you very good results. Mm -hmm.